Hello and welcome, thanks for joining me today. I want to talk to you about something that I don't believe we've ever talked about on this channel, which is the rise of different supposedly artificial intelligence characters that are used to try and compensate for the lack of community that we see all around us, and especially has been extenuated throughout the COVID years. And this has been something that I found particularly perplexing and disturbing, because what we have is uh, an increase in depression, we have manifestly increasing um, suicide rates and so on, these different indications that we have societal and cultural decline. And at the same time, the solution that's being promoted by the powers that be, you might say, is not the one that you and I might propose. We might propose going and engaging in different sports if you're lonely, or going to a church and engaging with a parish, or if you're in the UK, going to a pub. Uh, you know, different things for different cultures. But in any case, very few of us would say, why don't you get on the internet and talk to somebody who doesn't really exist and isn't real and get your sense of self and worth uh, from that. In instead, I think that that process is inherently dehumanizing and degrading, and that's what's being promoted. I want to take you over, in fact, to a recent piece that's been pu published by the Daily Mail. We're going to look at this together here. So as you can see, they're taking this to the next level, saying virtual children that play with you, cuddle you, and even look like you will be commonplace in 50 years, and could help to combat overpopulation. Now let me just stop there, because firstly, this presumes that overpopulation is a problem that all of us want to deal with, and we want to deal with it by, you know, eliminating people and replacing people with robots in some sense. Well, firstly, overpopulation is not a, not a thing that we have to deal with. We are not overpopulated, we're not running out of space, and in fact, here in the West, we are suffering from declining birth rates, we are not producing enough children to replace us and grow our society. So the opposite is actually true. Um, whenever you hear somebody groaning about overpopulation, I think it's generally a time at which you should probably tune out. So we'll just go ahead and lead with that. At the same time, the idea of saying that overpopulation is such a problem and therefore we need virtual people, it's like, that doesn't make sense. If there were lots and lots of people, then, then surely we would have plenty of socialization because we'd all be so packed in together. But I digress anyway, because that's, we're, we're going to move on. So here we are, and they're talking about virtual children that play with you and look like you, they claim. So don't have families, don't have kids. In fact, there's a moral reason why you shouldn't, again, there's like my overpopulation. And, and, in, and instead, you'll be, you'll be fine. You'll be happy. You'll be happy alone talking to the child that isn't there. And so, you know, they're showing these pictures of, of faded out children because there is no child. And it's like, we have these different people who are suffering from depressions and so on, and we know, in fact, that parents tend to be significantly happier despite, you know, their uni unique burdens and everything, but they're happier. Happiness comes from, you know, a fulfilling family life, in fact. And what we're being, what's being promoted to us by things like this is the very opposite. Live alone. Care only about yourself. Don't try to reproduce. In fact, there's a moral reason not to. And instead, you know, we'll take care of you by immersing you in this thing that is not. And um, that's the future that they want. And yeah, he's talking about this, this whole handheld digital pets that were, that were popular amongst children in the late 90s and 2000s. Yes. Um, they were not pets, however. They did not make up for them. Believe me, I had one of those silly things. So, because I was one of those kids. It was not a pet. Uh, and it was not fulfilling. So all of that, I eventually got a cat. But anyway, I digress. This isn't, I think, the, the small thing that some people think it is. Because as you look around us at society, there is a sort of manifest lack of culture and lack of interaction. Most people nowadays who have some social interaction only really do so outside of their, their family life, if they have you know, a husband or a wife, or only do so in their work environment. That's it. So you go to work, and that's where you meet your colleagues, and you kind of pretend like they're friends, and sometimes you go out with them, you know, every few weeks or something like that. And then you get a new job eventually, and you lose them all, and you go on to another job, and maybe you'll meet some people there. And that was one of the ways in which COVID hit people so hard, because their work colleagues were their only, 
uh, social interaction, and then they were entirely at home and separated from those colleagues in addition. But is that really where we should be finding most of our friends through work? Is that it? I mean, if you were to bond with somebody over something, surely it should be something of, of value, uh, actually of values, right? A system of shared values and shared goals and so on. Um, and I, I do think that we've sort of lost this. And they're going a step further by promoting these different so-called AI characters. I want to show you a commercial that's been promoted in Japan to give people what is essentially an alternative spouse for people who are alone and lonely and want that kind of or some kind of interaction regularly throughout the day. And you know, this is this is sort of thing that I think some would want to mock and berate and make snide remarks to it kind of lends itself to that. But the trouble is, like, this isn't funny. There are people who are seriously suffering in our society. The number of people for whom that's true is vastly increasing. Suicide rates, again, are skyrocketing. And when you look at this, I want you to tell me, do you think that this is a huge leap from, say, um, what you see with Alexa-like systems or Google Home and so on, with the way they're trying to create a interpersonal relationship with you, usually to sell you something, but I think that this is basically just the next step of that. Anyway, we're gonna watch some of this together. All right. Like, to me, this is some kind of like dystopian future. Uh, but you're supposed to see this as positive and in some way uplifting because this is fulfilling something in your life that is absent. So this is a guy who's, you know, this is their intended demographic who has poured into his career, has nobody, has nobody at home, doesn't have anybody who's going to, you know, give him the, the warnings of the day that it's going to rain or what have you and, and advise him in his interpersonal life. And so what is being promoted is let's compensate for that, not by building a community or a culture, not by getting you some friends, not by even leaning back from your work life and into something else that would help sustain you so that when you look back on your deathbed and see the sort of life that you've lived that you might actually, you know, feel like there was some body to whom, you know, you, you did a service, that, that there's something that mattered beyond your career. And instead, it was just, we'll just get the, we'll just get the robot. Sorry, no, How, how is, see, again, this is over in Japan that they're promoting it. It's not really that different from the connected home that you see here already, you know, in the United States and elsewhere with Alexa and Google Home and uh, I think there's, there's Siri and all of that, where you're supposed to talk to them and they expect you to talk to them as if you're talking to a person. And you're not talking to a person. You're talking to, you know, essentially a company. You've just got a, a machine that's coded to give you certain responses, and that is all. And what they're doing here is just really twisted because they're, they're toying with people's emotions and their needs in, in this way and getting them attached to something that isn't, because it isn't real. There is no character. It's not a person. There is no, no feeling. It's not really learning. None of that is, is the case because it's not alive. And there's something so incredibly dehumanizing and degrading about this whole system. Now watch a little bit more, okay? Where his wife should be. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> 
なんかさ、家で誰かが待ってるって。Okay. And, and they, you can see the, the target audience is the person who's depressed and lonely. And he's saying, you know, somebody's home for me. It's like, well, no. And, and I, I don't mean to sound harsh. I'm not saying that there shouldn't be someone home for this person. What I'm saying is that that person needs to, you know, actually get out there in the world and interact with the real people and that he shouldn't. Try and get his sense of self from an automation. Instead, it's just incredibly inhuman, I, I think, and, and degrading, and it goes in the very opposite direction of which way he should be heading. Because if you think about the, the, the worth that your life has in the sense of who you touch and who you affect, this doesn't, this doesn't add anything. Is this, is this who you're supposed to be before God, really? いい本だなさっき思ったんだ帰ってくるとき OK I think that's enough but I, I hope you, you get my overall point I do think that we're lacking some community and I, th I think that there is a benefit if you live in a community where it's possible to interact with your neighbors and to befriend them and you've got good people around you Absolutely embrace them as much as possible. I think that going forward, these communities will be more important as we have more tyrannical governments that end up exerting their power upon us. It's also necessary to build those、uh, groups of people who are willing to push back against any individual acts of tyranny and indecency that happen on a small scale, like you might see with school boards and with sheriff's departments over exerting pressure like you did during COVID. All of this can actually be changed at the local level. It's important to have these human interactions. And I think that there's value, there's individual value in, in each human life. There's dignity and worth and there is a plan. And like, this isn't it. You're not supposed to just get your sense of self from texting. To a device created by a corporation. It's not a person or a character. It's none of those things.、Uh, it's just fictional, and I think we can do better. Wait, don't leave yet. I have more videos for you to watch. One of them is recommended by YouTube because you know how well it has built a profile of you. Yeah, and the other one's my most recent video、so、that you haven't already seen. So you can find something that you might enjoy. Also, there are links in the description below that'll help you to support the channel if you're so willing. And really, who doesn't want one of these mugs?